there's something strange in a crudic gym. Who are you gonna call? Vitamin M. What's up guys, it's your boy Vitamin M, coming at you with another episode of Pokemon Silver here. And today, we're gonna be taking down the gym here in Akrutic City. In the last episode, I got a new teammate to be used, which is gonna be our awesome as ever Giraffe Rig, which is really gonna put the Ritz on this gym here, as we can see. And, oh man, this gym, the puzzle here is kinda funky, so just, let's talk to this guy more about it. The trainers here have secret motives. If you win, they may tell you some deep secrets about Akrutic. Okay, so that's interesting, so we can talk to this guy here. Can you inflict any damage on our Pokemon? So, starting right off with things here, this is a Ghost-type gym, which is gonna be pretty interesting if I do say so myself, because Ghost-types actually can't be hit by normal or fighting-type moves. Which, if you do have that on your team, that's kinda be gonna be pretty crippling for you, unfortunately, here. But, fortunately, we do have a Psychic-type on our team, since all the Ghost-types here are going to be from the Ghastly family, unfortunately. Um, being their downfall is their part poison, so that's going to be pretty nice for us here. But, if you have a normal type or a fighting type, and they're really big on those moves, it's going to be very crippling for you here. The only way that normal or fighting type moves will be able to hit a ghost type is if you have it no foresight, and use it on the ghost type Pokemon that you're fighting. What Foresight will do is it will basically say you identified them or whatever, just saying that now, essentially, you can hit them with your normal or fighting type moves. But even then, with your fighting type moves, Poison is going to be resistive to fighting type moves. So just keep that in mind, but, you know, Gengar and that whole family, they're not great physical walls, period. So you can probably get away with it, but it's going to be something that's pretty hard for you. And losing your turn to that, Especially when Ghastlies and Haunters and Gengars are going to know Curse and Spite and some moves that can really mess with you is going to be a very crippling to you, unfortunately. So just keep that in mind as you're going through this gym here. And that should be the end of this for- oh no, he's got five Ghastlies. I thought he had four. But Draft Rig is really going to be getting a lot of EXP here, so this is going to be great for us. And we've got the perfect Psychic move to take him out. So this is going to be pretty nice here. So, Akrutic City does have a little bit more to offer, but we won't be getting to those parts until much later in the game. So, with that being said, we have defeated Sage Ping. Maybe I can ping him a DM or something like that, you know? So let's talk to this guy. We use only Ghost-type Pokémon. No normal type can harm them. Well, unless you have Foresight, like I said. But the catch with this gym is, is obviously you really can't see the floor. This gym has an invisible floor here, and you're gonna have to kind of trial and error it to see if you can figure out where it is. So, I think if I remember correctly here, you want to stay in the lines here, and you want to go up all this way here. Okay, I haven't fallen yet. Stump by our invisible floor. Defeat me if you want a hint. So, the people here that you fight, they can provide some hints for you, obviously, as that first guy next to the statue had told us. So that's going to be pretty nice. Medium Grace. That's kind of interesting, considering mediums and the entire concept of God's grace, but okay. <laughs> so be it. I'm down for some irony and some humor like that, so... Anyways, yeah, Mean Look is just going to be a move where basically you cannot swap the Pokemon out that you're using, and that's not a huge deal in this gym for sure, but uh, with catching the Legendary Beasts, that's going to be a move that you're going to want on your team, so that they can't escape from you, can be able to have some more chances at throwing some Pokeballs and inflicting some damage to conditions all that stuff on them in order to catch them. So we're just trucking along here with the gym, but as I said, there is another tower here in uh, Acrutic City that I was alluding to earlier, which is going to be some content we can't quite get to right now. Or, we could get there right now, but we can't really do a whole lot there, unfortunately. Um, in this tower, it is called the... It's called the Bell Tower, I'm pretty sure, and then in the remakes, it's called the Tin Tower. I'm not sure exactly why they changed it, but... Um, the legend with Acrutic City goes something like this. Oh, Drafford's trying to learn agility. Nice! I do want that. So it's going to be pretty nice. Um, tackle's kind of useless if I have Stomp. So, Alright, so you're one step closer to your Baton Pass strategy if you want that there. Now he's just got to learn Baton Pass eventually. So, defeat Grace here. Gosh, their sprites look terrifying with the spirits coming out of them. <laughs> Fine, I shall tell you the secret of the Invisible Floor. 
the path is right before your eyes. So apparently I have heard that you can barely see the path if you're looking pretty closely, um, but I've always just kind of memorized it ultimately when it came to this. Um, once again, I've, this is the game I've played the most. Um, oh, I didn't have to battle her, that's what it was. I could've just gone straight to this guy. So apparently you can see the path right in front of you, um, but I'm not 100% sure how. I've always heard that though, and I have no idea why. But the thing about Akrutic City, getting back to that, was there's a legend about two towers here. I know, already sound like Lord of the Rings. But with that, each tower at the top of it would have a very special legendary Pokemon that would reside at them. And one of them would be at one tower, one of them would be at the other tower. So one would be at the Bell Tower in this game. And the other one would be at the now called Burn Tower. So Honor just killed itself. <laughs> okay, well that's that's kinda nice. That helps us out. So and then the legend goes that on a stormy night, I believe, the tower was actually destroyed in a thunderstorm. So lightning hit the tower. The tower caught on fire. This was the burn tower, by the way. And the rain from all of the storm was able to kind of put out some of the fire or anything, but it created this dramatic scenery, as you would imagine, and everything that comes with that. So when the ashes were gathered up, settled, everything such as that. The Pokemon that would stay at that tower went away and never returned. It went to another place that rumors only circulate and legends abound of where this Pokemon could be now. But, with this in mind, the Pokemon that was left at the Bell Tower was able by its powers of revival and different such as things such as that, able to revive the three Pokemon that were stranded in the burn tower when the storm occurred. One of them gained lightning powers because of the lightning that struck the building. One of them gained fire from the fire that burned the tower. And one of them gained water powers from the water from the storm that affected all the ruins and everything such as that. And as you would imagine, those three Pokemon would be the ones that we're going to be chasing after. Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. So that's going to be pretty nice. It's it's definitely a pretty cool legend, I would say, within the story of this. I always liked how this game stressed more of the legendary and the religious aspects of um, the cities and the overworld, such as that. I always thought that was definitely pretty cool. This is by far the most religious of all the games, I would have to say. Um, I don't know if Diamond and Pearl really count, though, when it's just like space and time and the underworld, if anything. But, here we go. We're going to be fighting the gym leader right here. Zosakta. Good of you to come to have come. Here in Akrutic, Pokemon have been revered. It's said that legendary Pokemon will appear to the truly powerful trainers. I believed that tale, so I have secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more. With a little more, I could see a future in which I meet the legendary Pokemon. You're going to help me reach that level. Oh boy. Got a little bit of a complex there. And we're hoping to really stop him here. But this is Morty. This is the ghost type leader. And this guy can be pretty tough with one Pokemon he's got. But right off the bat, he's going to be starting with Ghastly. Male, level 21 with the moves. Lick, Spite, Mean Look, and Curse. Ghost Poison type, and there are no held items on these Pokemon, period. So... As you would imagine, he's going to be trying to mess with you a little bit with all of the moves that he can throw your way. Uh, ghost types are very good at inflicting special conditions and having a lot of trickery up their side with Spite, Confuse Ray, Curse, Mean Look, and Lick can even have a good chance to paralyze. So that's going to be something that's going to be a little debilitating for you. So keep that in mind. Have your items ready for you when you need to use them and to cure your status conditions. But next up, he's going to be going with Haunter. Okay, I didn't expect him to go with this one, but Haunter, male, level 23. Ghost Poison type, with the moves Spite, Mean Look, Mimic, and Nightshade. Nightshade is a move that whatever level the Pokemon that uses it is at, it will do that much damage. So if you use Nightshade, 
it would do 23 damage here. It's kind of a silly move, if anything. But it's going to go with Spite to try to... Oh no, you reduce confusion by 4? Spite will take away some of your PP on your moves, so that can be pretty awful sometimes. Especially with a move with 5 PP or so. But Drafric is really pulling it here. His next Pokemon is going to be Gengar. Now this is the bane of existence when it comes to this battle. Gengar is no pushover here. But Drafric, with its typing of normal fight, Psychic, is going to be pretty nice. So Gengar, level 25 male, Ghost Poison type with the moves Shadow Ball, Mean Look, Hypnosis, and Dream Eater. So if you're familiar with Pokemon at all, you can already guess what his strategy is. He's going to try to put your Pokemon to sleep. That way he can use Dream Eater. And Dream Eater is a 100% Psychic type move that only hits when the Pokemon is asleep. And what it does is it inflicts damage, and half of the damage it inflicts, it is able to recover that much HP. It is a nasty move. It is so brutal, and it's by far one of Gengar's best strategies. And it's just what makes this fight so terrible. It's what made it so hard for me, always. But it's nice that Drafrig is a normal type, so it takes away the Shadow Ball option from him. And really is good. What? Is really going to take away some of the resistance that we could have from Dream Eater here. Oh, man. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and use the Super Potion here. Oh, man. This battle is just always up in the air for me when it comes to this Gengar. This is a tough fight. It just sucks that he can recover his HP like that. It is so incredibly annoying. Oh man. And Hypnosis doesn't really have that great of a chance to hit. Oh come on, please wake up. Oh man. Gosh man, this is going to be tough. Um, go with an Awakening. Yeah, so that Awakening you get pretty early. It's kind of nice to have that here if you hung on to it. Okay. Um, try Confusion again. Okay, Hypnosis miss. That's good. Oh, it did more than half its HP. Come on. Oh, darn it. Come on. Yes, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, come on. Oh, no. This is just such a nasty fight. Oh, my gosh. It hit three... It missed three times in a row! Holy cow! Oh my gosh, I thought this fu Oh man. So I pretty much just item stalled him. Okay. That's fine with me. I didn't want to exactly win that way, but that's okay. Oh, that Gengar is so awful though. But his last Pokemon here is going to be Hauntor, level 21 male. Ghost Poison type. Hypnosis, Curse, Mimic, and Nightshade are its moves here. So, once again, this is his weaker Hunter here. No idea why he went with his stronger one, but... Wow, that was quick work right there. So Drafric just steamrolled Morty there. That was awesome. Oh man, just had to use so many items on... on Drafric there for Gengar, but oh well. I'm not good enough yet. Alright, this badge is yours. Vitamin I received 23,000. 2300, excuse me. I wish it was 23,000. We got the Fog Badge! Let's go, boys! Looking pretty good. By having Fog Badge, Pokemon up to level 50 will obey you. So now we get more of that obedience from traded Pokemon. Also, Pokemon that know Surf will be able to use that move anytime. I want you to have this too. Vitamin M received TM30. TM30 is by far one of the best in this game, unfortunately. Because TMs are kind of... Uh, the TMs are kind of crummy in this game, if anything. But it's Shadow Ball. It causes damage and may reduce special defense. Use it if it appeals to you. Now, Shadow Ball is a really great move. Unfortunately, Ghost is a physical attacking move despite it reducing special defense. Which is awfully strange if you ask me. But that was Morty right there. Man, that was... Okay. I can't believe I just item stalled item stalled here him. And he missed Hypnosis three times. Like, I've, I've used that strategy myself in some of my playthroughs and... Um, Gosh, that's the worst feeling when Hypnosis misses and then Dream Eater, you just can't land because of it. Because Dream Eater is such a nice move, it's just so hard to use because of that.
But that is largely it for Crudic City here, and now we have the ability to surf. So, that is all that's really here. We beat Morty here, and next time in Pokemon Silver, we're going to be exploring, I guess, both south and west with some of the things we can do here. So, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Bye, M&M. I'm out, dudes.